Columbus-based Cummins plans to break ground on its new $30 million global distribution headquarters here in Indianapolis in April. Today, the diesel engine maker showed us some renderings of what that's going to look like. City Beat reporter Mary Mills joins us live downtown with the reaction that this plan is getting tonight. Mary? Cummins plans to build here on the southern half of the old MSA site what's long been a parking lot. Now, Cummins wanted a signature building, one that stands out, and this design certainly does. Well, it's glass. I like that. It's a good-looking building. It's odd, but it's nice. Though. Odd? Oh, it's really pretty. We showed people what the new Cummins campus will look like. The design calls for a 10-story glass office building. There's also a landscape-covered parking garage and a large public plaza with lots of green space. It's a design meant to be forward-looking. It's really important because it's our legacy in Columbus, and we want to bring that legacy to Indianapolis with this architecturally significant building. Cummins paid the city $4.3 million for the four-acre site. The city is also providing property tax abatement and more than $3 million in infrastructure improvements. This project presents a tremendous opportunity for downtown. Deputy Mayor Adam Collins says Cummins' new divisional headquarters will ultimately house up to 400 high-wage employees. These are the things that, that you dream of in an economic development world. The project comes in the midst of a building boom, with the transit center going up nearby. Phase two of the artistry apartments is also underway. Then there's the 28-story residential tower in Whole Foods planned at the north end of the MSA site. There's a side view. Those we talk to like the changing landscape. I think it would look, be fantastic. I'm always, uh, always excited to see growth in downtown, more buildings. Yeah, especially compared to the old city county building. It'll be a nice, pretty thing there. It's different looking. Yeah. No, I, don't, I haven't seen a building downtown that looks like that. Is yeah. that a good thing? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Why? It Just, brings people in. Yeah. Makes our town look nice. The design still needs city approval. That's expected to come in two weeks. Again, they hope to break ground here in April with completion in the fall of 2016. Live downtown, Mary Mills, Channel 13 Eyewitness News.